In the last video, we looked at the addition rule for probability. The addition rule is given as the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. We could rearrange this. We could write this now as the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A union B. So this is where we wound up at the end of the last video. If you haven't seen that video, please do check it out as some of the key learning points are in there. In this video, we're going to work through a few different situations or questions, and I'm going to look at different ways in which we can uh, solve the problems. Sometimes it'll be purely with formula, sometimes it'll be with a Venn diagram, and sometimes it'll be a combination of the two. So we're told A and B are two events, and the probability of A is 0 0.4, probability of B is 0 0.5, and the probability of A union B is 0 0.6. We need to find A, probability of A in section B. B, probability of not A, or A dashed, or the complement of A. C, the probability of A union not B. And D, the probability of not A union B. If you're confident, you can see that if we add these two and subtract that one, we're going to get the intersection. But generally in an exam, you could write it out in full. What you'd have is the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A, which is 0.4, plus the probability of B, which is 0 0.5, minus the probability of A union B, which is going to give us now a 0 0.6. So all I did was said, I'm going to add those together, take that one away, and that will give me the intersection. And we can see by the formula that we had before, using this one, that's what's going to happen. So on my Venn diagram, I can put my A. So let's put A here. Let's put B here. And we're going to have the intersection now. We know that this is going to be the intersection, and this is going to be equal to 0 0.3. So in part A, we've got 0 0.3. What we can now do is look to complete the Venn diagram. We know that the probability of A union B is 0 0.6. That's all of this right here. So this part must be 0 0.4. We know the probability of A is 0 0.4. We've already got 0 0.3 of it here, so we need 0 0.1 as the probability of A is 0 0.4. Probability of B is 0 0.5, and that's all of that right here, so we can see that that's going to be 0 0.2. Do check that all of this equals up to 1. Remember, we're dealing with probabilities, and the sample space, which is all of this, must be equal to 1. So that's equal to 0 0.6, 0 0.4, which is 1. We can now simply look at this and decide now the probability of it not being A. Or we can simply see that the probability of A is going to be 0 0.4, so the probability of not A or the complement must be now 1 minus 0 0.4, which is going to give us now 0 0.6. The probability of A or not B. Now, we can focus on this a couple of different ways. We could think about it in terms of a Venn diagram. Alternatively, we could use the formula. So we could say that the probability of A union not B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of not B minus the probability of A intersection not B. Now consider that we've got all of this information here. So the probability of A is going to now be 0 0.4. The probability of not B is going to be 0 0.5. So we're going to add that. Minus the probability of A and not B. Now A and not B is this point right here, which is going to be now 0 0.1. So that's going to give us a 0 0.1. So we can see that we're going to end up now with 0 0.9 minus 0 0.1, which is going to give us now 0 0.8. You could, of course, shade the Venn diagram to show that. In the last video, I did an example of it, which you're welcome to do. OK, with this one, the probability of not A union B. Again, you can shade. Alternatively, you can use a formula. The probability of not A union B is equal to the probability of not A plus the probability of B minus now, so let's minus the probability of now not A intersection B. So the probability of it not being A, we know the probability of A is going to be 0 
So the probability now, and we'll write it just here, the probability of not A union B will be now the probability of not A. So the probability of not A is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 plus the probability of B, and we can see either from here or in the original text that that's going to be plus 0 0.5 minus the probability of not A and B, which is going to be this point just here. If we think about this, it's in B, but it's not in A. That's simply going to be the 0 0.2. So what we're going to have then is now the minus 0 0.2. So from here, we've got now 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5, which is 1.1, minus the 0 0.2, which is going to give us 0 0.9. Again, if you shaded these on Venn diagrams, you would see that's exactly what we end up with. And in the last video, I shaded it as well. So there we go, nice and logical, and we've used a combination of the two. In these, I'm using a range of different skills. Remember, if it's in an exam, please do show all of your workings. And you don't have to use the addition formula. You can simply use a Venn diagram. I'll leave it for you to think about. Okay, C and D are two events. And the probability of D is 0.4, probability of C intersection D is 0.15, and the probability of not C and not D is going to be equal to 0.1. What we'll do this time is go backwards and we will fill up the Venn diagram from this information. So what we can see then is the probability of D is going to be 0.4, the probability of the intersection is going to be now 0.15. So let's put this one as C and this one as D. The probability of D is going to be 0.4, so we could just simply put that this is going to be 0.25. The probability of it not being in C and not being in D is going to be the outside, which is going to be 0.1. The only thing we're left with now is the probability of C intersection, not D, which is C only. That gives me 0.4, that gives me 0.5, so this right here must be 0.5. All probabilities equal up to 1. So I've used simply a Venn diagram to show this. You could have used the addition formula if you wished. So first thing, we want the probability of not C and D. Well, that's this area right here. And that's going to give us now 0.25. So in part A, we can see we've got 0.25. Uh, in part B, we want the probability of C and not D. Well, that's going to be this point just here, which is going to be now uh, on B. We can have 0 0.5. The probability of C, well, we just have to add up these two. That's the probability of C. So we're going to end up now with 0 0.65. And then the probability of not C and not D. Well, we were given that in the question right here, which is going to be equal to 0 0.1. So that's quite nice of them to give us that one, seeing as they've told us what it is anyway, and that's going to be 0 0.1. So we didn't even need to break out the addition formula, yet you could have done it using the addition formula. So there we go, nice and logical, nice and straightforward. So far then, we've looked at using the addition formula, we've looked at avoiding using it, and we've looked at a combination of both. Let's see what we've got now. OK, there are two events, T and Q, where the probability of T is equal to the probability of Q, which is equal to three times the probability of T intersection Q, and P, uh, the probability of T union Q is equal to 0 0.75. So let's just read that again. Two events, T and Q, so let's put these on right here. OK, so this is going to be T, and this is going to be Q. Probability of T and Q are the same, and they are equal to three times the intersection, and the probability of T union Q is 0 0.25. So straight away, what I can put up here is 0, uh, sorry, 0 0.75, so 0 0.25 is going to go out here. If we call this value here X, just consider that the probability of T is three times the intersection. So this is going to be 2X. X plus 2X is 3X. That's the probability of T. Q is the same, so we'd have now 2x. Hopefully you can uh, appreciate how that's working. So what we can see then is that the, uh, the union is going to be 0 0.75. So from that we can say that 5x is equal to 0 0.75. x is going to be equal to 0 0.75 divided by 5, which is 0 0.15. 
So what we can do is just uh, take these out and put them back in. So two lots of x is going to give us 0 0.3, one lot of x is going to give us 0 0.15, and then two lots of x is going to give us 0 0.3. A couple of different ways you could have approached that. I'm not suggesting that's the only way. Uh, you might have a better way. I like to do it like so. So if we look at it now, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.15 gives us a 0 0.75, plus a 0 0.25 gives us 1. So now what we're looking for is the intersection, the probability of t intersection q, which is going to be 0 0.15. So let's put that there, 0 0.15. Probability of t, well, that's all of that right there, which is going to be 0 0.45. So 0 0.45. Probability of not Q. So it's not in Q. So what we're going to have is the 0 0.3 plus now the 0 0.25, which is going to give me 0 0.55. So C, we're going to get 0 0.55. All I'm doing is looking at now at the regions on my Venn diagram after simply working out the values of X. So probability that isn't Q is everything but Q. Q itself is going to be 0.45, so probability of not Q is 1 minus that value. Probability of not T and not Q, well, that's outside. That's going to give us 0.25. So that's going to give us 0.25. And finally, the probability of T intersection, not Q. T intersection, not Q, it's just this bit right here. So that's going to give us now E is going to be equal to 0.3. So again, we've kind of dodged using the addition formula, but found our values anyway. The take-home message from this video is with the addition formula, you can use it. We could have used it in here. We could have used it in the last one. But have a range of techniques to make your life slightly easier. I always like to reduce it to a Venn diagram and then decide which regions we're looking for. You don't have to, but it's always there as an option. So there we go. Venn diagrams and the addition formula to sort out problems with probability.